We had already defeated Germany. We're now concentrating in the Pacific. We were preparing for an invasion. We were going to launch a million and a half men. Washington, D.C. had already prepared for a half a million American boys killed, and possibly two to three million Japanese. All them people from Europe, they was already on their way over to Japan, and they estimated it'd be 110% casualties. That'd be nobody would live out of that first wave. The ships were all congregating at Okinawa to get ready for the invasion of Japan. On our way to Okinawa, something happened. August 6th, 1945, and they dropped an atomic bomb on Hiroshima. We were 150 miles southwest when that explosion took place. And we saw this huge cloud going up in the sky. And our commanding officer announced over the loudspeaker, the first atomic bomb has been dropped on the world. The first one was Hiroshima, where we was the casualties hills, 140,000. Then we hit Nagasaki, where the casualty was around 70,000. When they released that bomb, that did it. And I'm glad they did, because I knew that invading Japan was going to be lethal to an awful lot of guys, Americans and Japanese. They'd fight to the very end. They wouldn't surrender. If they fought that way for the islands and go to that extreme, what would they have done at home? I had mixed feelings. I thought, my gosh, there's a lot of innocent people killed. But then you got to think, if they hadn't have done that, we'd have lost a lot of, of American soldiers, too. I don't say it's revenge. It's just the fact that this is war. This is the end of it. Let's end it now.